Hello and welcome to another guide brought to you by the Tibia Tome team. My name is Profskit and today we will be going over the hive. I'll be showing you how to do the daily tasks, where and how to collect the gooey masses and how to find rare bosses. First of all, head to any city which has a guide. I chose Thais since I was nearby anyways. The hive has three stages, the normal stage, the second stage and the third stage. The normal stage means that only the surface is open. The second stage means that the surface and the eastern tower are open. And the third and final stage means that the surface and both eastern and western towers are open. For example, if the hive is in stage 1, where the surface is only available, then the server altogether have to complete 200 task points before the next server save for the hive to change its stage. For example, if the hive is in stage 2, and I myself complete 200 task points before the next server save, then the hive will be in stage 3 right after the server save and both towers will be open. 200 points for one player could be quite annoying to complete, but keep in mind, you don't have to do it alone. If 200 players complete one task each, the hive will be pushed to its next stage. Keep in mind, when your server reaches stage 3 of hive, it will only remain that way for a week. But on the last day of that week, 200 points needs to be accumulated again to only revert back to stage 2. If 200 points are not accumulated by the last day of stage 3, then the high will go back to stage 1, and you will have to gain another 200 points 2 days in a row to push it back to stage 3. If the hive is in stage 1, the guide will say the following. If the hive is in stage 2, the guide will say the following. And if the hive is in stage 3, the guide will say the following. That was a lot of information, but it's very important to know and understand the hive, so you don't waste precious time. There have been many occasions where I and Slimantis tried to push 200 points by ourselves, but ended up with around 190 around server save. It sucks to have to repeat them and wait another 24 hours to push the stage, so if you're going to push the stage, start at least a few hours before server save. Now make your way to Grey Island and speak to the NPC called Oracle. There's many ways and different orders to take these tasks. I'll only show you the way I usually do it and the way I feel is the funniest and fastest. Say this to the NPC. Hi, digestion, yes. Hi, blind, yes. Hi, disable, yes. Hi, acid, yes. Now you have four missions. You'll be completing three of them for each run you make which takes about two to five minutes. Each mission gives you one point and you need 50 points in order to pass through the necessary gates to collect your gooey masses. I'll be displaying that later though. The digestion, blind and disabled tasks are simple and will be completed every round you run. But the acid task will usually take you around three to four runs to complete. You could complete it every round but you would be wasting a lot of time. Simply do as I display in the video. The rotation you do it in doesn't really matter as long as you complete the requirement of the tasks. You will receive a few items. Strange powder, blob bomb, 8 flasks of chitin dissolver, swarmer drum and gooey substance. The strange powder should be used on 8 different hive antennas to complete the task. The blood bomb needs to be used on 7 floor blobs to complete the task. The 8 flask of chitin dissolver needs to be used on 8 fresh dead crawlers. You will now have 8 flasks of dissolved chitin. Now use the drum and the swarmer hatchling will spawn. Use the flask of dissolved chitin, the green flask, and it will absorb the swarmer's hatchling. When you have absorbed 8 swarmer's hatchlings, you are done with the task. You have to wait about 30 seconds to reuse the drum and this is mainly the reason why this task takes so long. It's worth having, but try to complete it as you are running. It helps a lot if there's someone hunting there, since then you don't have to kill the crawlers yourself and waste time. The gooey substance should be used on 7 hive pores to complete the task. Just follow what I do in the video and you'll be fine to complete all the tasks that I've mentioned.
Now that you have completed your very first run of these tasks, the rest is very simple. You just have to repeat them enough time to get 50 task points. Then, speak to Oracle again and tell him this. Hi, rewards, yes. He will now have granted you access to pass through the green gates of Hive and through the undergrounds of Hive. I don't recommend doing this by yourself, but if you want to and feel comfortable enough, Supply yourself with Estes, Ultimate Mana Potions, and about 30 to 50 Firebomb Runes. I died once myself running these towers whilst recording, so be very careful. I highly recommend doing this with a friend of yours. I didn't have anyone online at the moment, so I had to run it myself. Most of the things are simple. On each floor of the Western and Eastern Tower, there will be a GUI mass to collect. So you will receive 7 GUI Masters from the Eastern Towers and 7 GUI Masters from the Western Towers. There are also 2 GUI Masters to be found in the undergrounds. You will see the location of every single one of them in the video. There are also 6 rare bosses which can spawn in the undergrounds. They all look the same as creatures that already exist in Hive but have different names. Their names are Chopper, Flesh Slicer, Maw, Mind Masher, Rot Spit, and Shadow Stalker. The biggest reason why you would like to kill one of these bosses is their chance to drop Dung Balls. They are the same as a normal Dung Ball but they glow, usually main used mainly for decoration purposes. If you use a Dung Ball, you will receive 10 task points. There is also an outfit you can get in the Hive, the Insectoid outfit, as a reward for your duty in completing enough tasks. The base outfit requires 300 task points, the base outfit and the first add-on requires 500 task points, and the full insectal outfit requires 1000 task points. Technically, you could buy or loot 100 dung balls and use them, this will grant you 1000 task points. However, you will still need to complete 50 task points in order to pass through the green gates. If you have enough points already, run to the highest floor on the western tower, in the room where you collect the gooey mass, stand in the most southwestern corner and you shall receive your outfit. Me and Slimantis used to farm the underground back in the days when we played Morta. We have found every single boss, even recorded every fight but lost the recordings when I formatted my computer and forgot to back them up. Since you can only get 16 gooey masses each week, the underground provided us with a lot more of them. Since there are so many hive overseer down in the undergrounds, we used to farm them for extra gooey masses in order to finally get the 4 leaf clover. Some of the rare bosses do have a chance to drop gooey masses as well. On a normal open pvp server, each gooey mass is worth around 40 to 80k. This means that if one gooey mass is on average 60k, you will be making 960k every week you do this. That's pretty nice. Me and Slimantis opened over 800 recorded gooey masses without any luck. We have never got the full leaf clover and stopped farming the place eventually because of the frustration. I think that was all that needs to be said about the hive. It's an amazing place and surely is a nice place to visit if you haven't already. At the end of the video I will be opening my 16 eggs if you would like to watch that. Otherwise, I'm done speaking for now, enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys next time.
to get ahead find out where you go but all i find instead is the nest that's already been blown i know you won't stray no one must just